Hi, welcome back to Inside Homes. If you're in the market for a really spacious and exclusive penthouse with its own private roof terrace, we've got something really interesting for you today. Today, we're in the Woodlands area at a newly MOP EC called Forestville, and we've got a four bedroom, four bathroom, duplex penthouse to show you. All of this for under $2 million. Let's go take a look at the unit now. Right now, we're in a 1991 square feet, four bed, four bath, duplex penthouse. Forestville was developed by MCC Land, who has also developed other well-known projects like Queen's Peak, Santorini, Trey Residences and Canberra Residences. Forestville was TOP in 2016 and just attained its 5-year MOP this year in 2021. That means that for resale buyers like yourself, this unit is about as new as it can be. Forestville has a total of 653 units, but only 29 of them are penthouses, which makes this unit a very rare opportunity to own something that's large format but also very affordable. One of the first things you'll notice about this home is definitely the generous size and the regular squarish layout. This is really special because in recent years, the average size of EC units has been decreasing. For example, in recent launches, an average 4-bedroom penthouse unit is about 1,400 square feet. So being able to find something that's almost 2,000 square feet gives you an opportunity for a lot of space and great livability. Before we move on, let's show you the kitchen next. Alright, so the kitchen has been very thoughtfully designated with the dry kitchen outside and the wet kitchen inside. Over here, you've got a nice countertop space for food prep. You've got a live space here for a double door fridge. Inside the kitchen, you've got this three burner gas stove, built-in oven and cooker hob up here. All the storage has really been included, but there's additional space here if you want to build more storage. The kitchen also has this really nice east facing window that gives you a lot of natural light in the morning. On this side of the kitchen, you've got a very generous sized home shelter that could easily be converted into a maid's room if necessary. Let me show you the living room next. So that brings us back to this really spacious living and dining area. The space is really big and regularly shaped, so you can really configure your furniture in any way you feel appropriate. The entire unit is directly north-south facing, so you never have to worry about afternoon sun. The living room also opens up into this lovely balcony, and because we're on the top floor, we have a really nice view of the entire neighbourhood. You can also see that the distance to the next block is really far away, and because we're on the top floor, the balcony opens directly to the sky. You'll notice that there isn't a lot of built-in furniture in the living room, which is really great for you as a resale buyer because that really gives you a blank canvas to customise and renovate the house to your taste. We do have two AC units in the living room and a fan already installed. And interestingly enough, this isn't even the original flooring. The original flooring is marble, which the owners have covered up with a vinyl laminate because they didn't want their pets damaging it. This being a duplex unit, we have two bedrooms on this floor and two bedrooms upstairs. So let me show you the two bedrooms on this floor first. Okay, on this floor, we have two bedrooms. One is a junior master and one's a common room. Having bedrooms on the ground floor is really great for a duplex unit, especially if you're living in a multi-generational home because sometimes elderly folks don't want to have to climb stairs all the time. Let me show you the common room first. So over here, this common room could easily be repurposed into a study or a playroom or maybe a kid's room. Right now, in its current configuration, it's a study, but this room could fit a queen bed. The queen bed will come up to about here and still give you some access to the wardrobe. You have a built-in wardrobe here as well and the same lovely north-south view that we saw from the living room. The common bedroom that you just saw doesn't have its own bathroom, but there is a common bathroom right here. Next up, let me show you the junior master. So over here, we have this really generously sized junior master. It already has a queen bed with plenty of excess space on both sides. In fact, you can fit a proper desk on that side while still having a two-panel wardrobe over here. So this goes back to what we mentioned earlier that one of the things that we really like about this unit is its size and you can see that all the bedrooms in this unit are really very big. This room also has its own attached bathroom and it has the same lovely north-south views that we saw from the living room. Let's go take a look at upstairs. Before we head on upstairs, let me share a little bit about what we do here at Inside Homes. We're a team of property agents focused on creatively marketing your home in the best way possible. We'll send photographers to your house to take attractive photos. We'll do a video home tour just like this one. And we'll even do virtual tours for your home so that potential buyers can view your house remotely. Using digital marketing enables us to target the right buyer for your house, helping us get it sold in the fastest time possible at the best price. Most importantly, we don't charge our clients anything extra for these services. So if you would like to be featured with us, just click the link in the description below and one of our realtors will retouch you shortly. Alright, let's go take a look at the second floor. As we head up to the second floor, you'll notice this beautiful floor-to-ceiling window that adds in tons of natural light and also visually opens up the space. The space underneath the staircase is also a void space, which doubles up as a second storage area. The second floor has two bedrooms, both of which are a great size and both have their own attached bathroom. But let me show you the Junior Master first. So the Junior Master over here is a really nice size, you could easily fit a queen bed, 
you've got wardrobes along this wall and attached bathroom. The interesting thing about this room is that it opens directly onto the terrace as well. Also on the second floor, we have the master bedroom. So if you look at the floor plan, this used to be a study space, but the owners took the walls down to make it one coherent bedroom. The study itself has its own balcony, which because we're on the top floor, opens directly to the sky. So taking the walls down was a smart choice because it enables the master bedroom to have its own private outdoor space. The master bedroom itself is huge. Right now we have a queen bed over here, but you could easily fit a second queen bed over here if you wanted to. So this space could be used for more storage or a desk or a place to work out and do some yoga maybe. On the other side of the bedroom, we have a walk-in wardrobe. You have four panels of wardrobe already installed and this space leads you directly into the master bathroom. The last thing on this floor I really want to show you is the roof terrace. Let's go. For us, the roof terrace is what makes this unit really special. This space is about 300 square feet and there are a lot of things you could potentially use for this space. The owners are currently using the roof terrace as a utility space where they do their laundry, so their washing machine is up here. But you could easily convert this into a nice outdoor seating area with patio furniture, a couple of lights. There are electrical points along this wall, so you could easily install a bar or a small wine fridge. Another thing that we really like is the service entrance over here enables you to get lift access up to level 13. There's only one other neighbour, so it makes the whole space very private and exclusive. And it's also nice to be able to get lift access directly to the second floor. One of the other things that we really like about this layout is that the roof terrace here is a nice even rectangular shape. As compared to some of the other penthouse units in Forestville that have longer L-shaped uh, terraces that may not be as user-friendly. Now, let's bring you downstairs to show you some of the facilities that Forestville has. The design concept of Forestville really emphasises that idea of a very bright and open site plan. So you can see that right now all the blocks face inwards towards the central facilities and you have all your pools running one direction. The gym is also right in the centre, so it's a very nice view when you're working out and you look at all the pools around you. This project also has a nice sheltered multi-storey car park as well as a tennis court, which is not something you find in all projects these days. Let's talk a little bit about where we are. Forestville is situated along Woodlands Drive 16 and we're about 8 minute walk away to the new Thompson East Coast Line MRT station, Woodlands South. Woodlands Central, where Causeway Point is located, is also about a short 5 minute drive away. In terms of pricing, this unit is asking for 1.72 mil, which puts it at a very attractive price, well under $900 PSF. If you compare this to the newer ECs which are already starting from 1100 PSF onwards, this is definitely a value buy. Additionally, this is an opportunity to own a large format unit that developers simply aren't making anymore. Being able to buy a penthouse unit of this size for under 1.8 mil is definitely a rare opportunity. Thank you so much for joining us on this home tour today. The penthouse that we showed you earlier is currently asking at a very attractive price of under $900 per square foot. For us, this means that you have a great opportunity to buy a large format home that they aren't really making anymore. Also, the unit itself is only 5 years old. If you'd like to come and see the unit in person, you can click on one of the links below or contact one of our realtors and we'll be happy to set that up for you. If you like our content and would like to see more of it, you can follow us on any of our socials. If you'd like to have your home feature with us, you can contact us too. For Inside Homes, my name is Tim and we look forward to hearing from you soon.